All right, what's going on, everybody? So we need to talk about One Punch Man and MAPPA because according to this leak, the studio behind Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen is going to be working on Season 3. Now, that could be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at their current output, but one thing that can't be denied is just the fact that MAPPA has a lot on their plate. They're taking on just about anything nowadays. I can understand, you know, the good and bad of it or possibly good or bad of it, depending on if this is true or not. You know, I understand why people might be a little hesitant, uh, given that they got a lot on their plate, like I said, and just what they've done in the past. Now, I started watching them back in 2020 with listeners and the God of High School. Now, I know those shows aren't like the biggest display of their work, you know, of what they're capable of. With both of those shows, they ended up being a disappointment. The God of High School, I don't think really animation was the issue. It was more so pretty much dumb rushing the story there. Uh, but with season three, so kind of going backwards, if you look at season one, which was animated by uh, Madhouse, you know, everybody had pretty much nothing but praise, I, I would say for the animation and everything you know it's a humorous funny show a lot of people love the show for all its characters and stuff really for me you know i was just there for the, the comedy for uh saitama for genos uh a lot of people love the other background characters and stuff i don't remember them like that like i couldn't name like 10 of them if you put a gun to my head but um i'm excited for another season but i'm a bit cautious because Madhouse is not returning. Like, I know a lot of people would would have probably preferred Madhouse, considering that I don't think they have as much as uh, MAPPA on their plate when it comes to, like, new stuff. Like, they did Sunny Boy last year, and they're doing something called Bibliophile Princess or something right now that's currently airing. Given if, if this is true, I kind of wish that they would co-produce with Madhouse. Because they they worked with Madhouse before on uh, a, a show called Tac Op, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. But they worked on them with another anime before, so they should have done that with this. Like if we look at uh, what Mappa has, uh, you know what they're working on, what they have for us coming in 2023 and possibly beyond. Um, obviously, they got Attack on Titan Final Season Part Four, Part Three, wh whatever part they're on. Um, so they got that. They did the Edithin Deities of Fire Show, amazing show that y'all need to uh, check out. Uh, that was from last year. A lot of people that like that went under the radar. Go check out the Edithin Deities, No Only Peace. That, that was an awesome show. That was last year. But they did Jujutsu Kaisen. That was like 2020, 2021. They got to do uh, season two of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. So that's, that's another thing they got. Uh, Vinland Saga now. From what I understand, uh, Wit Studio people are helping out with that. You know, Wit was the one that did season one. And when uh, Wit was, so when Mappa was announced for season two, I was I was one of those people that was a bit concerned. But then considering that it's being produced with, you know, uh, Wit Studio helping out with it, that does kind of set my mind at ease. But then, but then again, I heard that that arc, that the uh, that season two's arc is not going to be as action oriented. So. Uh, that's that might actually be like that might actually be something that works in uh, works in season two's favor in terms of you know uh, Mappa being involved with it and everything. Obviously, they got Chainsaw Man that's uh, currently airing, and they they gotta finish that. They did some dancing show that I didn't watch. Um, dance, dance, d dance, dance -er. I don't know. If I'm, I do not know if I'm pronouncing that right. So forgive me if I'm uh, butchering that. But uh, they did that dancing show. And then they're, they they just announced an Izakai series called Campfire Cooking in Another World with My Absurd Skill. And uh, when they announced that, that was just another thing. I'm like, God dang, y'all just y'all just taking on work after work, man. Um, oh yeah, and then there's one more thing that I don't know if this is coming out 2023, but for some reason, you know, a lot of sites are listing it as 2023, including this one that I'm on now, Wikipedia, um, Hell's Paradise. I read the first chapter of that. I was like, uh, it's, it seems all right. I saw the trailer for that. I'm like, this this might be kind of fire. So, uh, but they're they're working on Hell's Paradise, so they gotta get that out. If we count the rest of Chainsaw Man and this new season One Punch Man, that's seven things that they gotta get out there. That's a lot. I don't know how big Mappa is. They probably need to hire some more animators, get uh, get some freelancers if they have to. I don't think it's gonna be one of those situations where we can look at all these different projects that they got in the works 
and say to ourselves, oh, this is what the A team did, this is what the B team, oh, and look at this ugly job that the uh, that the D team and C team did. I don't think it's going to be that situation. I think it's all going to come down to timing. I think that that, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I believe that that was one of the issues with season two of One Punch Man was, you know, JC staff, you didn't give JC staff enough time. Because here's the thing, I was one of those people when season two dropped and I watched it and I was like, like I finished that uh, I finished that last episode and I was like, really? Is That was it? Like, it was a pretty bad season. And it really made me think that JC staff was this bad studio, but then I... You know, afterwards, I, I went and I watched A Certain Magical Index and uh, Railgun. Those are good shows. You see, like, look at the quality between Railgun and One Punch Man Season 2. It's night and day. I think it's just all going to come down to timing. Like, the same thing can be said with MAPPA. You know, you give them enough time, they can produce something great. And uh, something that somebody told me, I want to say a year or two ago about Attack on Titan, there was a, a point in time where, you know, the, these shows are on the schedule. These shows... I imagine a lot of the times they're on a very tight schedule. So if, if you give them enough time, I think they'll produce something great. But one of the one of the concerns I saw online today was, you know, if Mappa was gonna use too much CGI. Here's the thing, you look at you look at uh, Chainsaw Man right now, there's a lot of people that they fooled thinking that certain uh, certain scenes were CGI, myself included. Uh, you know, those scenes that y'all thought was CGI, guess what, it was hand drawn. And some of that CGI that was in there, that if there was CGI in there, there was some stuff that was good. Now, there's some stuff that you can look at and say that, oh my God, that, that like, you can look at it and be like, oh, that, that looks kind of, not necessarily bad, but, you know, you look at it and you, you think to yourself, oh, that's just ugly CGI, but, um, they can do good things. Like, you look at Chainsaw, you look at Chainsaw Man action scenes, they're phenomenal. They're, 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 they're great. They're great scenes. So, I just think that you gotta just give, I think that they just need to give Mappa time. Best case scenario, uh, Madhouse comes and, and co-produces, you know, co, co-animates this. And I think it's gonna be in good hands. But like, you give them time, you give them the resources, and depending on who's on that team, you know, it could be good. Uh, I mean, it can't, like, come on guys, it can't get any worse than season two. It can't get, how how can they butcher this worse than than JC staff? As much as I love JC staff now, back then I'm just I was just like, oh my god, never never let anyone else touch this with Madhouse. But we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see how this goes. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this Mappa. You know, taking the reins. If y'all think this is gonna be a good situation or a bad situation uh, for the franchise, I saw some people saying that they wanted Bones doing this. Y'all gotta understand, man. Bones is doing. A uh, mob, mob cycle 100. You know they're, they're doing that, right? Bones is doing that, but then they're also doing my hero and people for the longest ever since season four talking about my hero's uh, animation. Y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't want that. If if Bones, it's gonna be the same situation if they're on a tight schedule and taking and taking on too much stuff. It's gonna be the same situation. So, but yeah, that's just my my two cents of it. You know, hopefully. Hopefully things will work out, you know, f for the best, but we'll have to see. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.